past, we find a gas station coming down a sand road now. There's another military checkpoint coming up. Huge tarantula. How you doing? <laughs> hey, Bill. Good morning and welcome to the Mexican town of Ensenada here in Baja, California. Yes, we have arrived in Mexico as part of our around the world drive. So let's show you the plan on the map. We're in Ensenada up here at the top of Baja and then we've got 876 miles to drive all the way down to La Paz. We have about three days to do it in and the reason that we're driving so fast. We're meeting a friend, but we also have an appointment with a dog. Yes, a dog. More on that later. You're going to have to wait and see what uh, what that's all about. But not this dog. It's not, not, this, not dog. this dog. This dog is the crazy, naughty dog that lives here. It's not crazy or naughty. It just loves to jump up. It has lots of personality, that's all I'm saying. It's a young puppy. Do you want to come with us? Oh, you do really, don't you? <laughs> like that. <laughs> okay, let's hit the road, baby. A massive thank you to Marcos. What a wonderful welcome in a dark night. Yeah, the first, uh, first night in Mexico was fabulous. Adios. Thank you. Thank you, we'll see you again. Bye, Chai Chai. <laughs> Look at that, the weather is beautiful blue sky. Something uh, we've missed the last few months. One thing we've noticed is there's a lot of dust on the windscreen already and all the cars are dusty. So we're gonna uh, have to keep the solar panels clear. You can't have your wits about you because there are quite a lot of holes in the roads. And uh, it's gonna take a while to get used to the driving people overtaking and stop signs that don't really look like stop signs and just the normal chaos of coming to a different country. Well to woman driver. <laughs> yeah, and you're smashing it, love. We've seen uh, lots of these OXO stores, which I think are like little local convenience stores. Maybe like our spa? Yeah, like the spa, Mexican oh, spa up. shop. <laughs> So we need to fill up with uh, diesel before we leave. The first gas station we stopped at, they didn't have diesel, just a normal regular petrol, so. Well, diesel. Diesel? No. no. Gracias. <laughs> so we're, we're just filling up. It's uh, attended. See, the camion is Inglaterra. Yay! The first gas station we true did, I wanted a selfie. Wow, that's all I could say. My first experience of a Mexican petrol station. And we even had a bit of a dance with the local music. Yes, you <laughs> did. But I've noticed there is an OXO, there is an OXO store here. Let's see what they got. Any food for tonight? Hola, buenos dias. Hola. It's more, uh, it's more like snacky foods in Oxo. So we'll, we'll find somewhere to stop for lunch or, or dinner, or over. We'll overeat at lunch, and then we don't have to, to eat say, tonight. Can I point <laughs> out that one of the reasons we were so excited to come to Mexico was our friends Adam and Heidi from the Country Collectors have done so many food videos that we literally salivate when we watch. I think yeah. there might have to be a little uh, street food tour somewhere for Tread the Globe. Do you like the food? I love Let it. us know and uh, yeah, maybe we'll do a little street food tour That's somewhere. Good. So we just pulled over just to uh, sort the Tom Tom out and reprogram it, and this car came past all waving. Everybody, my first impressions is this place is crazy friendly. 
Ensenada is uh, is a big city, so it's uh, going to take us a little while to get out this morning. I'm getting so many flashbacks <laughs> when we were in Central America. <laughs> The difference is I'm driving it. But it's just lovely, look, you know, the guy on the side of the road here, stacked up with his corn. Lots of little eating places. Stopping at the uh, the traffic lights, you have the street vendors coming up to, uh, to sell your stuff, just like in Central America. We actually looked at the map, there's two routes that we could have taken. We could have gone down on the sort of west side or the east side. We've chosen the east side because once we get to San Felipe, it's going to uh, it's going to follow the coastline, which should be pretty beautiful. There's quite a big drop by the side of the road there. There's no barriers on the side of the road here. So you're all wondering, are we getting a dog? Why well, have we got an appointment to see a dog? Well, that's something else you're gonna have to wait and see. This is our first police or army checkpoint coming up by the looks of it. Let me run back and get the passports just in case. Alto total puesto militar de seguridad something to do with military security, stop totally. Hola. Okay. Gracias. Gracias. Yeah, you're good. So up on the hills here in this huge sort of flat plains between the mountains, there's uh, lots of agriculture, farming going on. The landscape's changed a little bit now. We've got these big rocks. It's passing through a little town up here in the mountains. Purified water, that's another thing we've seen a lot of because you can't drink the water in Mexico. It's not potable at all in any form. So they have loads of these agua shops. That's a really weird looking building. It's like a castle in the middle of the village. There's huge fields of these spiky plants. I'm not sure what they are. Possibly pineapples maybe? still carried on over the mountains. It's, uh, it's about one o'clock and I have to be honest, I'm hungry. <laughs> yes, we, he is. <laughs> we, uh, we didn't have any breakfast this morning and uh, we don't normally have breakfast. We normally save it for lunch and dinner. But uh, I'm looking forward to getting down by the coast. We'll have to find somewhere to eat because uh, my belly's starting to rumble. Although I think we've still probably got another maybe two hours until we till we get to somewhere. You can see for miles, you can see the road's gonna hug and go through the valley between these, these mountains. You can just see the road in the distance there. These straight roads just go on and on and on in the valleys and then over the mountains in the distance. military check 500 meters or oh, there's another check and uh, we've reached the uh, the end of the east uh, road and now we're going to head uh, this way and, and head south well they did had a very thorough search around it was like a like a border crossing they literally opened every cupboard every bag every everything but nice guys and uh, they said you're welcome to Mexico, they gave us some directions and uh, always good. So you just got to go with it. Don't be intimidated by the uh, by the cross, by the military stop. Mm -hmm. 
it sounds like rain, or rain but it's bugs. Oh, listen to that. Mad. Oh, look at that. San Felipe over there. And the, the road that we're heading now is going to hug the coastline um, as we head south. So we just started to see these tall cactuses sticking out. I think they're going to get more and more common as we go down. Look at the size of it. They are very cool, look. take the sunnies off now because the sun is just dipping down behind the uh, the mountains. I also have the warning from Marcos in my ears that watch out for donkeys on the road. Oh yeah it's true he said don't drive at night. We're on an epic little uh, road hugging the side of this hill here by the sea and there's the most amazing moon just peeking over the uh, over the hillside there. I am loving this drive today. The landscape really has changed at the moment. It feels like we're on the moon, really. It is a moonscape. Okay, so we've pulled off the road. Literally, the main road is just here and uh, it's getting pretty dark now. We found this spot for Truders tonight. I think mean, it's all good. That's wonderful. I, yeah, I think that's enough for today. We're gonna put the alarm early, aren't we? So we'll get off and get- Crack of dawn. So because we're parked by the side of the road, we're closing all the blinds so that we're darker from outside. We'll keep the, the chair facing forward, we're facing out in case we need to drive, we don't have to reverse if there's any problems in the night. Yeah, we could get moved, there could be a security issue. It's something we do when we wild camp in, like on the side of the road, because you never know, do you? But before we do, we want to say a huge thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. We've been using Surfshark VPN for the past few years, way before they started sponsoring us, and I would not hesitate to recommend them. But first, what is a VPN? VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. Basically, it creates an encrypted tunnel which keeps you safe while you're surfing online. There are so many benefits to using Surfshark. Firstly, it allows you to browse privately so nobody can track or steal your data. It hides your location, blocks ads and malware, keeps you safe while you're using public Wi-Fi, and keeps all your searches private. We love the fact that by simply changing your virtual location, it puts you somewhere else in the world. If only driving around the world were that easy. And that allows you to unlock content that wouldn't normally be available to you. What's more, if there's more than one of you in your household, Surfshark VPN is the only VPN company that allows use on an unlimited number of devices. To get started, simply click the link in the description below, use the code TREADTHEGLOBE, and you get a whopping 83% discount and three months free. Back to the show. Good morning. This was a cool little spot last night. Pitch black, nobody around, and very, very quiet. Today, we're continuing our journey down towards La Paz to meet up with our friend. Um, it's probably another 14 hours to get down there. It's a long way. We won't make it today, but we'll, uh, we'll carry on cracking down and uh, show you as much of Baja and anything interesting that happens on the way today because you know travel something's always bound to happen i love that trudy just starts every time i turn the key <laughs> she's a good girl i love her anyway let's get off this sand we haven't sunk in i don't think so i think we're good <laughs> come on trudy we've got this yeah look at that right look at that sit back relax and enjoy the drive
over this road. I cannot believe it. This is absolutely gorgeous. Early in the morning, it's uh, just coming up to 8 a.m. Not much traffic on the road. Those of you that are wondering, yeah, it is getting a little bit warm. The sun coming through Trudy's front windscreen here. I am debated putting my shorts on. Even the wind with the window open, it's warm. That's good for uh, this time of year. Winds are everywhere else and it's still warm. If you are driving uh, down to the bottom of Baja, make sure you fill up with uh, petrol or diesel before you leave because there's not very many petrol stations. We got just under half a tank uh, of fuel left and uh, fingers crossed we find a gas station before, uh, before it gets too low. But yeah, we haven't seen one today so far. So at least we're not going to get lost today because we're going straight for 436 miles. <laughs> Okay, we've got just over a quarter of a tank of fuel now. And guess what? We're still in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> hopefully, Rookie. Rookie hopefully we find a petrol station soon. But it doesn't look like it's gonna be in the next 10 minutes anyway. I think that there is a building in the distance. It looks like it could be a petrol station. <laughs> Trudy's not a thirsty girl. A lot of you that may have just joined us, she's only a 2.3 litre engine, so she does really well on fuel. Gasolina? Oh my goodness, is that the back of a truck? I don't know that I want to do that. I'm not doing that because you don't know what don't you're going to get. No. Oh my god. Goodness. Why are they selling it though? Is that because there isn't stuff ahead? Do you wanna not sure what pull over and have a think? Yeah, I don't know, they're selling gasoline. Hold on, let's have a look. What's that? Ros Rosarito 55. Rosarito. Jesus Maria 95. Rosarito. Yeah, we're going through Rosarito. So I reckon that's the town then, isn't it? Yeah, and that would be 55 kilometres, not miles. Yeah, so we've got enough. So we've got enough to get to there. Yeah, because off the backs of those trucks, you never know what you're getting in. I don't want to put anything dodgy into we Trudy. We do carry a fuel filter, but I'm not really... No, I think we got enough to get to Rosarito and probably maybe the next town. I think we can go up there. So yeah, I think, I think we'll risk it. Really, looking back, we probably should have filled up in San Felipe. Oh, there's a fuel, 95, 95 kilometers. kilometers. So that's 50 miles. Oh, yeah, we're good, we'll be good. Oh, so yeah, we should have we should have filled up at uh, San Felipe when we <laughs> stopped at the grocery store, but we had three quarters of a tank, really. So we thought, you know, you're bound to see a petrol station. That was a petrol station. Oh, there's got to be petrol there somewhere. No, there's no, no petrol. Next town, 80. Might be a little bit touch and go, people. We might have made a rookie mistake. k petrol sign so let's hope this one's so uh, good there was also a van coming the other way that was flashing like mad so i'm not sure whether there's something happened on the road up ahead oh there's some hazard things just go slow because around the corner oh the truck caught on fire oh, oh holy okay. moly okay oh my goodness there's boxes of something Oh, it's building supplies. Look, there's oh, plasterboard. It's building. There's plasterboard. Oh, dear. There's oh, two yes. lorries. His stuff's come off. But the other lorry's there as well. Oh, yeah, oh, he's on. lost his load. Oh, he's lost his load, bless him. Just got through one hazard, and now we're coming up to another roadblock. There's a police uh, 
army checkpoint here by the looks of it. Oh, it's a military checkpoint again. When you look online, a lot of people say, be careful, you know, the police and military, they might take things out of your van. So we got, we got our camera bag and like my passports and wallet and everything on us just to make sure that uh, it's all it's all secure. I'd like to think that's not true. So you can see there's a couple of guys, the guns there, they just check in everything, every truck that comes through. Yeah, they've taken us off the road. With yeah, the treaty stands out like a sore thumb, but we just go with it, just go with it. So that was, uh, that was all good. They, uh, asked us who we were, what our names were, where are we from, were and we American, point, we said no, we're English. And at that point, they had a good laugh. They laughed. Marianne's Spanish, Spanish is pretty good. <laughs> I didn't film it because no, of the... Uh, no, I think I gave them a, a whole day's worth of entertainment with my pronouncing. Yeah, maybe, they were smiling. I think that is a gas station on the left. Hopefully it's open. Do Wait. It's coming? Yeah, it's oh, a, it's big a big truck. truck. Don't cross that. Okay. Diesel, yeah. Diesel. 2380. So it's a pound, a pound a litre. Okay, we're all full, fueled up. Uh, when you come to these petrol stations, there's a service attendant that come does it all for you and then you just uh, normally pay somewhere around the pumps so he'll tell you where to go and when you're paying and they say nip that's actually pin backwards yeah so don't do what i did which <laughs> take is the, just car pull down the car down and go thank you and they go no, no. <laughs> and so she had to redo the whole oh, thing she was cool so when you overtake here when you're overtaking a lorry and they suddenly put their indicator on left you think oh are they turning are they going to come out in front of me but actually they're indicating to let you know that they can see the road ahead is clear. It uh, confused us for the first Thank couple of times. Thank you very much, We've got some major roadworks going on here. We just come coming down a sand road now. Washboard roads, love it. What do you reckon, Bob? <laughs> yeah, all the truck drivers wave. They all wave at Trudy. <laughs> oh, it's a long old road, bro, right? this one. It's miles. We've gone from sand to dry mud. This would be an absolute nightmare if it was raining. Thank goodness it's dry. We just got a glimpse of the road in the distance and it does in fact carry on as far as the eye can see so uh, might slow us down a little bit today okay we just spotted a little tacos place here we could get some lunch right here Tacos El Poblano. So this is our first first experience of uh, real food here in uh, in Mexico. I'm really excited. I love these little street side places. Always get the best local food in these. That's the beef. We've got a beef taco there with some guacamole. And a cheese quesadilla. And that is a pork. Oh, oh that looks so good. That is so good. Oh my goodness. Oh, they got little little pots of bits. So you can spread the lime on it or cucumber or I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go straight in and just uh, try this. Oh it smells lovely and it's got like herbs on it. Mmm beautiful meat smoke slightly smoky where they've done it over the fire. Well, that was an absolutely delicious stop off and a good, uh, a good little break on the way. Yeah, we're in another bit of traffic because there's another military checkpoint coming up. 
it's, uh, it's a little bit like the east of turkey had lots of uh, checkpoints so i think this one there must be quite thorough because we've been waiting for like 10 minutes and we've only had two cars go through and uh there's still a bit of a queue in front well after such a thorough check on everybody we got to the front and he just waved us through so in fact his exact words were just go let's go just coming over the brow of that mountain wow that i think that is probably one of the best views we've seen since we've been here in mexico that's fantastic oh baby i love your madness it's so incredibly beautiful oh you shine like gold so selfless too so we've come back to the coast we've probably got about another hour of uh, good daylight so we'll probably drive for about another hour and then we'll find somewhere to park up so this uh this road's gonna hug the coastline uh down now for the rest of the day more road works and we're doing this little uh, road down by the beach here and it's pretty holy for trudy she's getting a bit of a off-roading experience The prevailing wind comes this way and I don't know whether you can see just how dirty these parked cars are here. That is absolutely mad. They look like they've been sprinkled in dust. Look at them. quite a lot of army and uh, police in the trucks with the guy stood on the on the back we've seen quite a few now there you go so if you turn through the castle gates Marianne historica mulj muleji I'm not sure how to pronounce it off the police truck these are the ones where they stand on the back very cool. <laughs> are they pelicans pelicans oh it's God. pelicans sat there oh, I'm loving this I reckon that's a good park up for the night, don't you? Pelicans. Views of the ocean, no. pelicans. Pelicans. <laughs> There's a, uh, that is a lighthouse at the end. Good morning. Well, this is what Baja is all about. Isn't this fantastic? Check out this for a view. We had a really good, quiet night sleep here just uh, a short distance from the town woke up to the beautiful ocean and went to bed listening to the noise of the waves and that is what i imagined baja to be but we've still got another day's driving we're still shooting down to la paz so uh unfortunately we can't stay here and enjoy this for more time but uh, after catching up with our friend we're going to spend lots of time exploring baja so don't you worry. Right. So it's, uh, I think it's six, six and a half hours to La Paz. Yeah, the, the pelicans flying around here are crazy. We're just not used to seeing such big pelicans. We're not used to seeing pelicans at all. Don't you think they look like pterodactyls? They're quite they prehistoric do. looking. It's a very cool uh, little town. We'll, uh, we'll have to maybe see if we can come back here on the way back up. The uh, local church there. They look different, don't they? It's got two bells. So that's because if the first one doesn't wake you up to come to mass, the second will definitely wake you up. Oh, maybe. Under the bridge. Yes. That's the main road. Right, forward. <laughs> Canadian cyclist. Morning. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <Where are you> going? <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> I love it. Uh, the, uh, the water's also getting bluer and bluer and more and more tropical as we're going down. 
I think at the bottom of Baja it's going to be pretty epic. All the way down they've uh, they've got these little RV parks uh, campsites next to these wonderful beaches with blue water. Oh, we're just driving along and Marianne suddenly oh. got like something's on fire. I said I couldn't see anything, but there is a... You got wasped or oh, horneted. God, what is that? It really hurts. Huh? Really hurts. Figured this was a pretty cool looking restaurant to stop for a bit of lunch. Vista Almar, which means? The view of the sea, I think. And, and it's also that? known as the clam shack. Now, I don't eat fishy stuff, but I've ordered a portion of guacamole, which I'm ex so excited <laughs> to <I'm> share. <laughs> what? And they look that they got homemade tortillas. Look at that. And uh, the gentleman was saying that the, uh, the same family has had this place for over 30 years. Shrimp taco, fish taco, and a mixed taco. It comes with this spicy, uh, almost like prawn cocktail sauce, deep fried fish, a little bit like you get back home. But it's like fish and chips in a tortilla. Absolutely delicious. I'm going to love Mexican food. So, yeah, so we traded stickers, so we're going to put a Tread the Globe sticker on. Amazing. Yay. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, I didn't manage to capture it on film, but we just saw a huge tarantula walking across the road. Oh my goodness. Well, look who we bumped into. Hey, look at that for timing. Hey. How you doing? <laughs> hey, Bilk. So you may be wondering why we rushed all the way down to the bottom of Baja. We came down because we're catching up with our friend, Eva, who needs probably no introduction. I'm sure you all know who Eva is. Um, but we're also, the dog thing is because we have an appointment with Vilk. Yes, the best boy. <laughs> and we are going to be dog sitting Vilk while uh, Eva goes on a little trip. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you, you're trusting us with your dog. I know, it's a really big thing for me actually because, I, you know, he's my little baby. But I trust you guys, I'll trust you guys in my life. So. Oh, I'm feeling the love. <laughs> <laughs> We and we will look him. after Bill. He, he loves you. He so. does. He jumped into bed this morning to say hi to me. <laughs> <laughs> and then Chris was probably like, oh, I did not let no. you do that. No. Oh, I'm a good boy, right? He is amazing. He's an incredibly well-behaved dog. He's only a baby and yet you are a massively experienced dog handler already. He is so, he is. so He is. He's amazing. Eva's made it easy for yeah. us to dog sit. If we ever get a puppy, she's <laughs> yeah, definitely. There's another career coming up there. Right, I was going to say, like, this is an alternative uh, possibility for <laughs> yeah. lifestyle. Kind watch of watch the uh, dog training YouTube channel coming soon. Exactly. <laughs> if I ever need a new job, I know who to, who to yeah. call, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's a good boy. You're going to be fine, right? Oh, but we, uh, yeah, fine. so we're parked up just outside of La Paz. We have views of the ocean, we have blue skies, and a beautiful dog to look after. Yay. Right. You're off. It's time to go. Bye. Have a lovely Christmas. Thank you. Say hello to your family. We'll do. Have a great time with the view. We will, and we'll send you regular updates. Amazing. Merry Christmas. Bye. 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 Bye.